welcome to this little cheeky Twixmas upload. I've been doing these for a few years now. Um, a little popping back in before I come back in the new year with all good new year stuff. It's a lovely what I got for Christmas video. Um, my name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. We've got loads of fun stuff coming for you in 2023. Already making plans. Um, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what the date is. I don't know how long I've been wearing these pyjamas for. I don't know what's going on. I thought, you know what, I'll put some makeup on for the people. And then I thought, none of the people will be wearing makeup watching this. The people will just be sat at home, maybe eating a mince pie or perhaps the, 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 the remainder of the turkey. So you've got me au naturel, but I did put a festive headband in and I've got some very old um, Disney Christmas pyjamas on. So you are welcome. So yeah, this is a what I got for Christmas video. I usually tie it in with um, what I got in the Boxing Day sales, but I'm telling you now, I got nothing. <laughs> um, what I did pick up uh, on Christmas was a, a nice cold. So if you if I sound a bit nig nigella, um, that's why my voice is a little bit a bit a bit, bit throaty, a bit froggy. Um, we went to the sales. We always go to the sales on Boxing Day. It's just one of the traditions that we've always done um, with my family since I was like little. And uh, we usually go to Solly Hall, and we went to Solly Hall again. But that might be the last time we go to Solly Hall because my mum and dad are actually moving house in 2023. I wonder if they'll let me show you some fun moving stuff. That might be quite nice. I mean, I'm not moving, but you could perhaps see all their nice stuff. Granddad Roger's been getting all sorts of bits and bobs. So yeah, we went to Solly Hall. I didn't buy very much. I did go to the um, Lush bath bomb. I like to buy loads of bath bombs. So um, Erin and I went to the Lush bath sale and we got in. All the Lush bath bombs are half price. And we got to the till and the man, man gave Erin like a bubble bar. It was just a treat. I did do a cheeky little next order for some sale stuff and that is not due to come for another two or three weeks when that comes. Of course, I will show you because it's got loads of Bath and Body Works. Right, let's cut to the bit that you all wanna see. Let's cut to the stuff I've got for Christmas. Okay, the stuff I will be showing you is mainly from Stephen, um, from my mom, and also from my sister. I think there's a couple of things from friends in here as well. We do tend to write lists, and I remember, I think it was last year, that caused a bit of controversy. We do tend to write lists. Um, Actually, not, not with my sister. With my sister, we my sister we do just get stuff that we think each other would like. Um, so, for example, I got her like an Emma Bridgewater Union Jack mug that she can use for Eurovision. Um, also got her some Benefit, um, is it Bad Bang Girl or something? Mascara that she really liked. But with mum, we um, write a list with Steve and they give a few suggestions and also they get some surprises. So let's, let's crack in. I'm just literally just going to show you in no particular order. So, mother got to me some some soap and glory body scrubs. I love soap and glory. We have got Magnificoco, Sugar Crust, which is gorgeous, and also Smoothie Star. And I've not smelt this. Oh, almond and caramel. That would be so nice for um, like Halloween time. Oh, it's lovely. And I don't think I've smelt Magnificoco before either, body scrub. And that, that'd be perfect for a holiday. A little cheeky holiday, somewhere nice and warm with a bit of that. Um, she also got me some melting gel cleanser, which I really like from number seven. And I think this was from my mom. Everything kind of merged into one in the end. And some pixie glow tonic as well and I think the Goof Proof, but this could be from Stephen, Goof Proof by Briar Pencil, which is from Benefit. So I like showing you the stuff I get for Christmas because it's like my favourite stuff. This is stuff that I probably wouldn't go out and treat myself to, but it's nice to see, you know, ask, put stuff on a list like your favourite makeup and your favourite products. So um, the Goof Proof Briar Pencil is a great Briar Pencil. She also bought me this, which is a really heavy, stay a wild. I am gonna do a full video in the new year about my plants. Some of them definitely need a bit of TLC. Um, I'd also perhaps like to get a few more. Is that bonkers? Because I do have a lot, but I just love plants. And I will, if you have any questions about plants, leave them below, but stay wild. And then she said that she wanted to keep it herself for a new house, so stay wild. My sister 
got me on the theme of plants, got me a night plant mister from Sass and Bell. If you've never looked at Sass and Bell, Sass and Bell is a great online store with loads of cute stuff. They have a actual physical store in Covent Garden, which is really, really cute. So um, if you do have plants, one of the things you should be doing is misting them. My plants love a good mist, so I do that. And she also got me some TikTok pens. So uh, 2022 is the year I've really enjoyed watching TikTok. So she got me some, she got me Louis through, my money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. And that sounds like a you problem. So she got me some fun TikTok pens because I do like them. And a sass and bell. See, I've got two planters, therefore I need two plants. That is the way it works. Stephen got me, I love this, Ethan actually picked this up, not took it out of the box. It's from Oliver Bonus. And uh, if you are new here, I have like a tiki bar in the summer. And this um, is like a giant pineapple. Uh, stacking tumblers, set of three stacking tumblers. So evidently you can pick, pick that. So I'll show you one. I'll take it all out. Oh, this Oliver Bonus is so pretty. Again, another great, oh, that's so nice. And then when you put them all together, that would also be really nice with like um, a tea lighting, wouldn't it? So looking forward to using that in the summer months. This is one of the things actually you not pointed out to me, and I was so thankful for you when you did. I mentioned when I did my um, house tour, Christmas house tour, go back and check that out. I've got some Disney plates in the kitchen and I got the Halloween set for my birthday so I can swap them when it's Halloween, I can put them up. And you lot were like, the, the, one, the Christmas ones are half price now as well. So this is one of the, look. So these are from Shop Disney, they were half price. They are like vintage um, Disney plates and they will look so nice in my kitchen next Christmas. So when you hang up a plate online, you get like these giant, it's, it's like a big sticker that you wet and then it's really hard to describe. When I put them up, I'll show you. You get like a giant sticker that you wet with like a little hook arm and it really sticks to the plate and then you can hang them up and then you're like scared they're gonna fall down at all times, but yeah. I really like these and I think these will look so nice next, next Christmas and I will say if you're ever looking at Shop Disney Christmas stuff get it in the sale and keep it for the next year because it can be quite a lot but they always do a really good sale just before Christmas so that's great that's from my mum I've got a couple of pairs of pyjamas Stephen picked me these these are Sainsbury's and I opened them and I just love them size 18 you know me, I love stars. I thought they were absolutely beautiful. And a nice short little, nice short little t-shirt. Mother got me these pajamas and these are also beautiful. And I've never seen, I don't know where are these from. Oh, Batalam. They're like quite, they're a little bit fancy these are. So let me know in the comments, did you get pajamas for Christmas? Stephen also got some. Um, these are very, very fancy pajamas actually um they'd probably be a bit too hot for florida but if we did a disneyland paris trip these would be perfect they're really nice uh mickey mouse ones i really like them she left the price on so if you're interested guys they're 18 pound and she got me in a size 16 to 18. um i got some snuggly socks off mom and off steven because that was on my list of just things i really want i got um some from sainsbury's and some from asda so can't be a little snuggly, snuggly sock. Oh, this also was from my sister as well. A really cute Mickey toiletries bag, which will be fab when we go on our next trip. And actually, you could probably use this as like a little, a little clutch, a little clutch bag. So that was cool. I got a couple of candles. Um, and also, these candles were uh, rogue smells. They are smells I have not smelt before, and they were smells chosen by the person with no input from me. So mom got me pick and mix. So do you know what pick and mix is? Pick and mix is like, do people still have pick and mixes now? In the old days, when I was a child, you'd get 20p and you'd go and buy 20 sweets for 20p. Could you imagine getting 20 sweets for 20p now? 
So that is very, very sweet. That's Yankee Candle. That's one of the home inspiration ones. Exclusive fragrance. So I presume that was from like Asda or somewhere. So nice. And they, um, home inspiration ones are really good because then they're, they're not quite as strong as your standard Yankee Candles. They're just really nice and subtle. So that is a great, I love that. And then Stephen got me Caramel Crunch. And that is really nice. It's like a really gentle, what kind of caramel? Maybe with like a touch of, maybe like peanut or something. That doesn't sound like it smells, but that's really nice. That'll be really nice for um, autumn as well. That will, that's a great, a great one. Of course, tights, duh. These are one of my favourite tights. Um, maybe if you want to top, stop and take a little screenshot. Autograph tights. I get them in extra large, 100 denier. These are great. They are £9.50 for a pair, which is quite a lot, but they will last. I've had pairs like four years. They will last a really long time. Also, the next extra large ones are great as well. So if you're looking for nice tights, you're a similar size to me. My friend Sheila bought me some... Um, Bought some hot chocolate station stuff and also bought some games. She loves games. Her and her other half love games. So they bought me. We've got Monopoly do Deal and also Five Second Rule. And these would be like perfect for plane journeys. I don't know what Monopoly Deal would be. But that'd be like great for like a car. And we're actually going away for New Year. So maybe I can take that with us. Now, I said to Mother, I love face masks. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, I love the, the Garnier face masks, they're my favourite. I always tell you when they're on offer, you can often get them in home bargains and stuff. And she got me a lot of face masks. She was a bit disappointed because online it said they came in like a nice box and when they came they just turned, they came like rogue. But um, I love these. Moisture Balm is my favourite and another great one is the Night One. They're so, they're really, really nice. So this will keep me going. If I do like one, one a week, this will keep me going like two and a half months. I also, if you're going, um, say if you're just feeling a little bit tired and you want just like a little pep, these eye sheet masks are really nice as well. I always feel like a little bit fancy if I put them on. So um, definitely check those out. And when I go around and do my hauls in 2023, I'll tell you if I see them on offer. Some more bits of makeup. This is from Stephen. Um, your poor professional. We picked actually picked this up in Bista when it was on offer, and then Stephen's kept it for months and forgot me forgot he got it. Me and I was like, don't forget you got the professional. So I've got professional. This is something that I have rebought a million times since I tried it. Um, I think I was sent it free many, many, many years ago. This iconic prep set glow is amazing. It's something that I've just bought time and time again. It smells lovely. Um, it smells so nice. It gives you like, uh, not like a glittery face, because that sounds a bit weird, but it gives you like a nice sheen. So very pleased to have that back in my life. And this is a little buckle in. Grab a mince pie, grab your box of heroes, grab your, your roses. I had this product in a beauty advent calendar, I think it must have been last year or maybe the year before. And I have been using it and I have been like, <laughs> you know when you get to the end of something and, and you're like trying to like get the last little tiny dregs out and it's glass so I can't like cut it or anything, I'm like <sighs> But when I actually Googled how much it was, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really, this is quite expensive. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll just keep trying to <coughs> scrape the last bits out. And Stephen must have listened to me. And he listened to me and he um, went to where my makeup is, took a photo of it and ordered it. It's the Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. It's not, it's not a cheap product. Um, but what a treat and like what a story he was like yeah and I took a photo I was like you know when you I just had like heart eye <laughs> I was like ah! so that was really really nice um, 
Mum got me this. This is Harvey Knickknacks. It's like a little makeup bag. Um, so in 2022, where we are now, I um, was told I was I'm asthmatic, so I carry like an inhaler around, and I just wanted to if I could just put in my bag to put like my powder, a brush, tissues, inhaler, um, and this is Harvey Nichols and. It was £18, and what a great present. It looks really fancy, don't you think? That looks like a really nice, whoops, a nice fancy present if you're looking for something for somebody. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that. That was really nice. My friend Sarah uh, bought me Cards Against Disney. Have a laugh. Um, I've played Cards Against Humanity, and we've got Cards Against Kids. This is for 17 plus, so don't get this for your children I've not cracked into it as yet because we've been with the children all the time but um looking forward to having a nice games night with that also I got kind of the last little bits from my mom she got, also got me an address book and there's some other, st other stuff over there um she got to me some of my favorite lush products so this twilight sleepy body spray twilight is phenomenal twilight and sleepy if you are struggling to sleep are really I really really highly recommend them um these never go in the lush bath sale these are always full price because they're just such phenomenal products the sleepy body lotion after you've had a bath and also the body spray I actually spray it on my um pillows and stuff and it makes you have a great night's sleep you do might have some freaky dreams some crazy freaky dreams but yeah really really like those and also this year she bought me which I've never had before sleepy dust it's just in powder I don't, after your bath or shower sprinkle with delicate sleepy dust so you put this on your skin as well so it says what's inside the gentle herbal scent of chamomile has been used to soothe the body and the mind since ancient Egyptian times so yeah if you are struggling with a bit of sleep highly my dream night is a twilight bath bomb with the night um, moisture bomb sheet mask sleep lotion and this on my yes please I might even I might even do that tonight yes please that's all I can say um, Stephen also bought me a, um, a Masoma ring I like get the stacking rings and I am a lady with some might say toffee fingers the kind of fingers that would go in a jar to get out toffee <laughs> i've got the opposite of slender fingers so it's quite hard to get um keep rings but masoma do some beautiful rings and stephen bought me a beautiful tiger eye masoma ring so that was like an absolute treat uh and i hadn't chose it and i was just it's just gorgeous so i will insert a little little clip of that here um, so I was really, really pleased with that. Yeah, off your fingers. This is the thing I opened, Stephen gave to me first. This is the last present. And I know you lot will laugh at this. Um, when I tell you I screamed. When I tell you I screamed. Because when we originally saw this in, I feel like I either filmed it on here or put it on my Insta stories. When we saw it many, many months ago in like B&Q or home base or somewhere. I, I was like, I want that. And Stephen was like, no, that's that's a ridiculous purchase. It's a box to store my wrapping paper in. It's a wrapping paper storage box. Now I have the green bags, which I used to talk about in here quite a lot, still upstairs. But I feel that this, do you know why this is gonna change my life? The bags get a bit floppy. They're not very rigid. And also with this, I can see. I can see the different wrapping paper. Christmas, I can see it. I want birthday wrapping paper. I can see it. I need something for christening. I can see it. So he didn't let me have it, but then he went out and he bought it. So I was really, really, like, genuinely screamed. So I was really, really pleased, really, really, really pleased with that. And I have got some organisation bits and we will definitely do some organisation in the new year. So there we go. I was a very, very lucky girl. Um, I do like these videos because it does kind of, 
show you the products I like so much that I would like them as Christmas presents and if you were thinking of any presents or anything. So, um, and now I get to put all this stuff away and we're kind of at that time of the the Twixmas where I just want to do a big old deep clean in the whole of the house and get everything tidied and uh, and as I say, we're going away in a couple of days. So very excited about that. Um, I will be back on here maybe in like a week or a week and a half, depending on what happens and you know i'll be back but i'll be back in 2023 i'll also be back over on instagram um in the new year as well and uh, i'm on tiktok and all that stuff but yes thought i'd hop on and do this little video because so many of you requested it and so many of you like it i'm sending you lots of love and peace i hope you're having an enjoyable twixmas if you're back at work i hope it's not too full on and yeah have a wonderful new year. Remember, um, new year, new you. It doesn't have to happen. 2023, same old me. That's what I'm going to say. Apart from, same old me with a really nice wrapping paper box. What a dream. I love you lots, guys. Thanks for your support, and I will see you in a week or so.